back. It's been another long time. What can I say? Um, if you're new here, I'm Trisha. This is my channel, 3L Threads, where I talk about cross stitch and stuff. And if you're returning, thanks for hanging out. Always, always appreciate it. So today is Saturday, September 28th, and I have a chance to record because like like usual, when I'm recording these days, my husband's taking the kids for the weekend. <laughs> I have been extremely productive today. I've gotten so much business stuff done. What I haven't done is stitched in over a week, and that's depressing, but you know, what are you gonna do? Hopefully, I'll get some in yet tonight. It's already nine o'clock though, so I'm not so sure about that. So, life update, life's busy. <laughs> I think my last update was before I went on vacation. So that was towards the end of July. And while I was on vacation, uh, we had somebody leave their position and only give a week's notice. So her last day was while I was on vacation. And um, I knew that happened before I left, but it's just, you know, it's always a hard time. And um, our department's already pretty short staffed and my boss was already wearing two hats besides her own and so she got a third hat to wear but you know that's fine like we get through it right and then um, just a couple days before our semester ended we had another person leave so now my boss is wearing a fourth hat that's not hers so for those that are counting that's five five hats that that my boss is wearing and that means I'm doing my best to support little bits and pieces of five jobs. I'm learning a lot. I'm learning so much. She's pulling me into things that normally I wouldn't be involved in, which only helps me um, learn and gain experience and help her. So that's amazing, but it's so intense. I feel like it's intense all the time, every day all day long <laughs> and um, it leaves me very little time for anything else. I come home and I'm exhausted. Um, I've not been the best friend, you know, lately. Uh, friends reach out and I sometimes get back. I've really had to kind of retreat from a lot of people and things because self-preservation, right? But it's only a season. I keep telling my boss it's this is only a season there is a light at the end of the tunnel um, she's doing some restructuring in some areas so that'll be interesting and um, interviews are going on for some pretty important uh, roles that she's filling right now so I'm, I'm really hopeful that um, by the new year we'll have a really good compliment you know, we'll see. But in the meantime, I am definitely enjoying what I'm doing at work. It's just, it's, it's just intense. So intense. Uh, kids are doing, you know, okay. Everybody's, everybody's doing fine. I think we're all just stressed out. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Little kids get stressed out too. My husband's stressed out. It's job. We're all just stressed out. I'm looking forward to Christmas break, <laughs> that magical time between Christmas and New Year's that I get to stay at home and not do a darn thing. I'm holding out for that, holding out. So that's life in a nutshell. Um, I have done some stitching though since July. I've gotten a lot of what I feel like are a lot of finishes. Um, I've really been focusing on my whips and seeing them get completed is so exciting for me. Um, I have only started one thing in all this time. Excuse me. So, um, so let's get started. Let me show you what I've been stitching in no particular order. And I meant to check really quick to make sure that I didn't talk about some of these things before and I have the hiccups now. Unfortunately, I've forgotten if I did or not. 
So we're just going to have to move forward. I'm pretty sure I showed that one. Move forward like you don't know. I feel like I've shown this one too, but I'm just not sure. So my first finish, ooh, and I forgot about that one. Ooh, ooh, I forgot about that one too. See, I've gotten stuff done. I'm so excited. Okay, so the first thing I finished right around that time, I'm sure it was right before my vacation. Did I show this? I know I showed it while I was working on it, I think. I don't remember. Uh, this is Alice's Mad Plant. It is by our very own Bendy Stitchy of Bendy Stitchy Designs. I don't remember if I showed this or not. Um, I changed a couple colors. The red I, I changed to a darker red. And this, um, this is the called for, but I wish I would have made it darker. That's okay. This is on a 32 count, yeah, 32 count linen from X Jew Designs, and I think it's called Fairy Wings. And I wish I would have done it on that purple part, but maybe I'll stitch it twice. I just can't remember if I showed you all that already. But if I didn't, that was a finish. Uh, my next finish, I think, was this one. I should have brought the patterns over, but I didn't. Uh, this is from Summer House Stitchworks. It was a Nashville 2019 release, and I know I showed part of this. <laughs> it is called uh, Sister Suffragette, and I stitched mine on a 32 count um, Zweigart linen that I got from, I did this in my last video, Needleworkers Delight. I got it when I was in New Jersey. Um, I think it's called Pebble Gray. I don't remember. Um, I chose my own colors and I know that I put them in my previous video so you can find them in there and I'll try to put them um, in the description box as well. Um, there was a couple weeks dye works and a couple gas. I think, and the purple is the called for DMC, and I love this so much. It's so awesome, and I'm looking forward to starting the button soon because I'd like to wear that next year for election day. At some point, I finished this little guy. This is a Barbara Anna. And he was in a magazine, and I don't remember which one, but I'll put it below. I'm so ill-prepared. Um, and this is a scrap of 32 count Lugana in Olympus from Under the Sea Fabrics. I changed him, so this is a very uh, brown and prim pattern, and so I used all my own colors. And I made the kitty orange not to be jam of Top Knot Stitchers jam, but of my pixie, who is also a uh, orange kitty. Though it could be jam. We're all jam fans. Hashtag ojam. So I did this for Magical Stitches. Um, it was the Dolores Umbridge week where it was kittens and teacups and I don't know. So... I think I'll make that into a cute little pillow, and I, I do think I want to do, there are two others, there's a mouse and a dog, I think, and I love them all, so maybe I'll do another one. Uh, while I was on vacation and after, I worked a lot on this one, and I finished it. Suck it, McKenna, I finished it. I'm just kidding, you don't have to suck it, I love you. So this is Matter's Choice uh, by Carriage House Samplings. This is a stitch along that I started with McKenna and Abby Bellastitch in December 2017. I just finished it. <laughs> in August, I think I finished it. Um, I stitched mine on a piece of 32 count um, Lugana that I coffee and tea dyed. And then I used Anchor Black for the floss. 
Um, some of you might remember this when I was working on the top and um, something got off and I was like, oh, it doesn't look too bad, right? And it looked super bad. And I just appreciate, um, I appreciate everybody supporting me when I said I wasn't going to frog it, but I definitely appreciate the few people who are like, girl, frog that because you're going to hate it if you don't, because it would have looked so stupid had I not. So here it is in all of its glory. I finished the um, entire pattern. I know when McKenna did it, um, she, I'm pretty sure, left off the alphabet or she left off this or maybe both. I don't remember. And I seem to remember Abby doing something with the letters. And in hindsight, I wish I would have um, taken this out and put in the year. And maybe that's what Abby did. I wish I would have done that, but I'm not, I don't wish it enough to change it. So there it is. I finished it. Hooray. I do love it. It's so pretty. So that was really nice. That was quite a big accomplishment. And the same night that I finished that, I pulled out out this one I can't remember but I finished I finished this one <laughs> I don't remember if it was this one or not uh, this is the primitive hair and this is mrs. Harriet cottontail I think um, one of the people that watch me sent me a year or two ago some cotton some real cotton so that I can poke that in here when I finish this, um, which hopefully will be sometime soon. I chose my own colors. Uh, the white for the rabbit is um, Weeks Dye Works Porcelain, I believe. Picnic Basket, I think. I'm not sure. Uh, this is the DMC that's called for, and this is apple fritter and I think it's a classic color works I'll, I'll try to put it all below I hope I wrote it down because I don't remember but I love it and I the white is my favorite because it has just this slight teeny tiny tinge of uh, pink to it I think it's just gorgeous so I was happy to have that done and I look forward to starting the there's a sheep and then Kellyanne told me there's like a is there a cat and a dog or there are some other animals and I was oh, I didn't even know so I need to find those I need to write that down excuse me while I write that down cuz I need to find those um yeah I did that right there I also was super pleased to pull out and finish Plum Street Sampler Spring Delivery. So now if you've been watching me for a long time, you will know that I adopted this whip from Stephanie Webb at Lindy Stitches. She had started it. She didn't like it. I loved it. So she sent it to me and I let it languish. I didn't enjoy working on it. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, but you know what? I enjoyed it when I pulled it back out and I finished it. And so here it is. Um, the sign, the, is it 1842? I took that off because I wanna finish this into a pillow roll and I thought that made it too, um, too square in that corner. So this has all sorts of modifications. Uh, Stephanie brightened it up. And so I used a lot of her floss choices, but some of them I think I just forgot and went back to the old. So there really isn't any rhyme or reason. And the actual... But see, the picture shows that the, the horse is blue, but the DMC version of the blue, I think it's like a white or a tan. I don't know. So she changed it. I went with it. 
Um, this is on a 36, 36 count um, linen from Needleworkers Delight. It's a silk weaver. She doesn't remember the colors, so it could have been a one-off. Who knows? Um, it's stitched two over two most of the time. So when I got it from Stephanie and I started, I don't know, I was doing a flower thing and she said two over two. So I started with two over two and I was like, this is, I don't like this because I don't generally stitch on 36 count two over two. I don't enjoy it. I know 32 count or 36 counts, one of those in-betweens, um, people like Emily, from Eclectic Possessions. She loves two over two on 36 count. I do not. So the next thing I did was the horse and I did it one over two. <laughs> and then everything else I did two over two. So I look at the horse and I'm like, what an idiot. But it's okay, it's fine. It's so pretty. I'm so glad that I did it. And it finished up really fast. Um, when I picked it back up, I did all of this, like the brown was there, but I did all of the flowers, which I'm not going to lie, were kind of a drag because it was complete like ending colors and starting colors because I didn't carry tons of threads. I should have. Um, I did the little chick. I finished his face and then I did the hair and I, oh, and I finished up the cart and a couple of these little bobbly things. There, there wasn't that much left to do, but I finished it. And I love it so much. I'm so happy to get that done. I forgot I got it done when I sat down because it was just amazing. I've had that for so long. Oh, it felt great. And then the last thing that I have finished recently and I finished this while I was at my quilt retreat a couple weekends ago is Autumn Song. Um, I did it with the called for weeks dye works. I think I did it on a picture this plus linen, but I don't know what it is. It's got some red and blue in it, so maybe it's heroic. Uh, but here it is. And it was a scrap, so who knows what else I put on it. Trust me, I got this. Don't worry. So there it is. I've had this one on the go for at least a year, I think. It's so pretty. It was perfect for, you know, September and the beginning of autumn. And I want to finish it in around something. I was thinking about doing... Um, doing this box finish. I just don't know if I want to. I like that though. Because, let's get real. I've got little kids and I don't have a lot of horizontal space just to put stuff. I really don't. We don't have end tables because our living room is so tiny. Someday I'm going to get a big house with lots of horizontal space just to put crap. Maybe I just won't finish this until then. It's my dream. Just to have crap. No, it's not. I don't want crap. Anyway, so those are the things that I finished. Isn't that amazing? Oh. Um, I also worked on, while I was on my quilt retreat, and I didn't quilt because quilting seemed overwhelming, I pulled out... The Lace Navidad from Blackbird Designs. I'll show it to you. This I bought because of Michelle Farm Girl and she hosted a um, stitch along and I know she's still working on hers. And I felt like, yes, I love this. So I did get a bit done. Not, I mean, Tons, but I got a lot done. This is on 32 count properly primitive from under the sea fabrics and I'm using some of the called for and some not and that's where I've gotten
It's so pretty. Uh, I love it. So this is like as wide as it is. The um, border comes on the other side of Mary. And then those are my initials. And I love it. And so I'm sure I will work on this more as Christmas stitching makes me, you know, want to stitch Christmas. It doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean. And then last weekend, I had a week where I didn't stitch at all. And I wanted a new start. And Kelly, Ann, and I were talking about starting our ABCs of whatever we have. She has the little house needleworks version. I think it's ABCs of cross stitch. Not for sure. And I have the ABCs of embroidery by Jardine Privé. And I fell in love with this when I saw Katie the Stash Queen stitch it. I'm pretty sure it was her. And she stitched it one over one on 28 count, I think. I don't think it was 32. I think it was 28 count. And it was perfect because the stitch count on this is 76 by 565. Let's think about that. So one of the things that I did is Kelly Ann sent me a picture of this banding from Stony Creek that she wanted to use. And I was like, that banding is super cute. I'm going to use that for mine too. So I ordered it. She, she ordered hers and I ordered mine, I think a day or two later and mine was um, on back order. Granted, it was like 58 inches long or something too. It was ridiculous. So anyway, I got it and like I put it up against the wall, you know, and if I hung it way up at the top, it was only going to be like a foot or two above the floor. And I thought that's obnoxious because it was 27 count. I thought, okay, that's cool. That's fine. You know, it'll be quite the piece, right? It was a half an inch to, um, small width wise. And then I thought, okay, well, I could do it one over one on 27 count. It's a loose weave. It'll be fine. But then it would just would have been too much border. It just wasn't going to work. So now I have this huge piece of banding that I don't really know what I'm going to do with. But I decided to do it one over one. And I made a start last weekend. And here it is. So I'm picking my own colors. I'm brightening, blah, 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 brightening it up a little bit. So I'm just kind of picking as I go. Um, the DMC yeah, it's charted for DMC and it just gives you colors. Then it says light pink, dark pink, you know, gray, dark green, light green. So I just went through my gentle arts and picked a light blue and a dark blue and the purple I just added in and a dark brown and a light brown. That's light blue. And this is one of the greens. So here she is. Isn't she cute? <gasps> and this is on a 25 count even weave from Witch Elt. It's kind of marbled and I don't know what it's called. Sorry. This fabulous needle minder that says Espresso Patronum is from Abby Top Knot at the Top Knot Stitching Shop. I'll link it below. You can get one if she still has them in stock. So that is, yeah, where we're at. Those are all of the things that I have done. I literally have no plans. I'm just stitching on what I like to stitch on. I can tell you this. I sense a whip down happening. So we've seen it from Michelle Bendy. We saw it from Emily at Eclectic Possessions and we saw a Ditch the Stitch from Kellyanne. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. The more I think about it, the more I think that needs to happen. Cause I have stuff that I don't wanna work on ever. And it's time to let it go.
to look for that soon. That's a plan. Um, quick shop update. I worked all day today updating my Etsy shop and getting 3L thread stuff done. So I just want to show you a few things that I have put in my Etsy shop. So, looks like the friends group. Let's go non-friend pattern first. Have you seen this? The blue flower, night walk down. Have you seen this? in my Etsy shop. Go get it. <gasps> I need to start this. Oh my gosh. See that white peacock? Are you kidding me right now? This black cat. Go get it. Somebody needs to host a stitch along. Make it happen. Christmas stitching. Noel, Bendy Stitchy Designs. Yep. Make it happen. Go get it. Three all threads. Halloween stitching. I got you covered. Sorry for the glare. I'm lazy. Hildy's Baroo. Benny Stitchy Designs. Let me get in. Oh, and this is going to be a series. We're going to fall in love with her. I have a feeling that there are shenanigans involved. Yep. Get it. Halloween stitching. Amanda May. Just one. The throwdown. Ex school friend by Lindy Stitches. Mm -hmm. You can get it for me. <gasps> uh, Emily's house from Lindy Stitches. That's right. And who do you see here? There's Buster. There's Dharma. You know him and love him. Go get it. Get it before they're gone. All right, Stitchers. That's enough for me. I uh, don't know if you noticed this. Probably not. But I've been catching up on some... Uh, Netflix, The Office, and rewatching. I forgot how much I really enjoyed the later seasons. The ones after Steve Carell left, when Robert California was there, I really enjoy him. Um, yeah, they're, uh, they're funny as heck, so I'm probably going to upload this and enjoy some more mindless office. Maybe I'll stitch, maybe I won't. Who knows? Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Everybody who's sticking around, you guys are awesome. I hope you find some wonderful stitchy time this weekend. Do what you love. Stay stitchy and I'll see you in my next video.